Hello, my name is Mike, and in this presentation we will discuss how to enable parental controls for a user. Enabling parental controls is pretty simple. What we want to do is go to the Start menu under Windows 7, Control Panel, and we have an option under the Category view to add or remove user accounts. At this time, we have an administrator account that is password protected. In order for you to enable parental controls on a separate account, every administrator account should be password protected. This is because if you do not have the administrator account password protected, the guest in this case, who would be your child or person that needs parental controls, will be able to bypass the parental controls because you have no password. So make sure that your administrator account is password protected before you try to initiate parental controls. Now what we will do is create a separate account for our young child, Johnny. And we will make sure this is a standard user. Standard users differ from administrators in the fact that they cannot make system-wide changes. They can only make changes that are relevant to their account. They can use and in many cases install software, but they cannot make system-wide changes. We create the account. We see that the account is a standard user and it's available. And we will now click on the account and set up parental controls. Who do we want to set up the parental controls for? We want to set up the parental controls for Johnny. And we want to turn them on. And we can do several things now. We can control when Johnny can use the computer and we can set the days, the times, by dragging our mouse. For instance, let's say we only want Johnny to be able to use the computer on weekends. and We only want him to be able to use the computer when we're around. So we can go 8 to 7 on Sunday and, or I'm sorry, 7 to 7 on Sunday and 7 to 7 on Saturday. This is a way of restricting the usage based on time. And all you have to do is click OK and those are the only times that Johnny can log in with this account. The other option is to control what games Johnny's, Johnny can play. You can control games completely. You can say no, he can't play any games. Uh, you can set game ratings, so let's just say you want to use the ESRB ratings, which are the Entertainment Software Rating Board ratings, and you can control which um, games Johnny can play this way. Or you can block specific games. Right now we have no games installed in the system, but games that are installed and are registered under the games in Microsoft Windows 7 are able to be moderated. Uh, you can now allow or block specific programs and this is really where the power of parental controls comes to mind. Parental controls is a good way of managing uh, the control of a system for certain users in a, in a small sized environment not really in an enterprise environment but a small environment. Um, if you wanted to control say a whole business worth of users you would want to use a Windows Server to make these types of changes. But right now Johnny can use all programs. Let's just say we only want Johnny to be able to launch one program. We don't want him to be able to go into Windows Mail. We don't want him to use anything except for our benchmarking and computer information software uh, called Everest. Okay, so we click on Everest.exe and this is the only application besides Internet Explorer 
that Johnny can launch. Let's go a step further and further explain how we can block programs and how we can filter out Internet Explorer for young Johnny. We have several options. First of all, let's just block all the programs that Johnny can use completely. This will be a good example of how we can block third-party software for young children. So we do have parental controls on, but before we can act with the parental controls, we also want to take the extra step of blocking Internet Explorer. This means we have to make Johnny an administrator temporarily. To do this, we go all the way back to Control Panel and we go to User Accounts. We can add or remove user accounts. Do we want to do this? No. But we want to change the account type and we don't want to do it for Mike obviously we want to do it for Johnny we're going to change him back to an administrator and we're going to log into Johnny's account real quick here we go logging into Johnny's account And now, as you see, can Johnny launch anything? Yes, he can. Do you want to know why? Because he's an administrator and parental controls do not work on administrators, even if they are enabled. Okay, so no matter what, he is going to be able to launch programs. Now, what we need to do to filter Internet Explorer is we can either completely remove Internet Explorer from the operating system and I'll show you how to do this right here and right now we go to control panel programs and we can turn Windows features on or off and one of those options is Internet Explorer we could completely remove Internet Explorer we can remove a whole bunch of components in Windows we can remove Explorer install Firefox and, comp and block Firefox for Johnny when he's a standard user. That's one option. Or we can install Google Chrome and do the same thing. Or we can actually go into Internet Explorer and we have to do this with Johnny being an administrator. We go to Internet Options. We go to Content and we go to Content Advisor. Now under Content Advisor we have the ability to control all sorts of different types of depictions of nudity, sexual material, violence, depictions of alcohol, drug use, etc. And right now everything is turned off. We can also change approved sites so we can approve certain sites um, that are always available. And now that we're logged on as the administrator, we're going to go to Control Panel. We are going to go to User Account and Family Settings. We are going to go to User Accounts, Add or Remove User Accounts. We click on Johnny. We change the account type to Standard User. Do a little rundown on his settings again. Make sure parental controls are on they're off because why he was an administrator I mean you could either do this or unplug the uh, the internet jack and hide it somewhere just hi hide the cat 5 cable or the cat 6 cable and Johnny wants to go on a chat program you see we have tools that are being blocked but Johnny wants to go on a chat program uh, dark dungeons of the internet type of thing he can't even go on a chat program he wants to see the benchmarks for this computer. He wants to see the information about this computer using a third-party technical application. There's no way. He can't even do that. And he wants to go to a porn site. Johnny's a bad boy. Um, 
we don't even have the rating system installed. So, I mean, there's no way. 